In this video, we're going to talk about what setback is in relation to sheet metal applications. So in a previous video, I described what the bend tangent line was, what the bend allowance was, and what the mold point was. Well, the setback is the distance from the bend tangent line, which marks the start of the bend, to the mold point. And textbooks will tell you that that is equal to the bend radius plus the material thickness multiplied by a k factor. So if we look at this um, bend, there is the setback. So it's equal on both sides. And have I measured that distance? Well, that distance there is the bend radius. And this distance there is the material thickness. So the setback is equal to the bend radius plus the material thickness. But we had already said it's the bend radius plus the material thickness multiplied by k. So the k is obviously equal to 1 in this case. And how could that be? Okay, so if we look at the bend angle, and we divide it by 2. So I've drawn this line from the center of the bend radius to, to the mole point. So this is our bend angle divided by 2. And if I get the tan of that, well, the tan of that angle is the opposite over the adjacent, which is basically the setback divided by the setback in this case, which is the bend radius plus material thickness, bend radius plus material thickness. Uh, and that's equal to 1, which is what the k factor was. So this suggests that the k factor is, in fact, the tan of the bend angle divided by 2. Okay. And that can be substantiated by looking at some tables. So if you look up some tables, and I got this table from Dale Crane's book, The Aviation Maintenance Handbook, uh, the fifth edition, I think it was, uh, it gives the bend angle and what the K factor is. And if I look them up in a, on a calculator, so if I take this bend angle here, 40, so I'm saying it's the tan of this angle divided by 2. So 40 divided by 2, and then if I get the tan of that, I get 0 0.36397, 0.36397. And if I do, uh, if I do one more, if I get, say, uh, 25 here, so 25 divided by 2, and then if I get the tan of that, it is 0.2216. 95, so 0.221695. Okay, so uh, the setback is the material thickness plus the bend radius times the tan of the angle over 2.